Uh, first of all, I want to uh, thank the Board of Regents representatives that are here. We have Deanna Reed and Bill J. Barber. Thank you for being here today. And I want to thank the uh, faculty and staff from Carl Lambert that are, that are here. I know we have a lot of you. If you would please stand up. And most importantly, I want to thank our students. Uh, we, we are here as an institution for the students, and we are doing this signing for the betterment of our students. So if you are a Carl Albert student, please stand. Well, I think we've all heard that two-year colleges are the gateway for millions of Americans to a better job and a better life. And two-year colleges are also that bridge to the four-year college and obtaining that baccalaureate degree. And that's why we're here today, to build on the relationship between Carl Albert and Northeastern through the Smart Choice Program, to help build that bridge for a seamless transition from the two-year to the four-year institution. And I cannot think of a better institution in the state uh, to partner with than NSU. I, I, I've had the honor and privilege of knowing Dr. Betts uh, since I was pretty young. And he has made such an impact on my life. And one, one thing that I can remember that he did for me, of, uh, of the many things, uh, in the, in the mid-'80s, he introduced me to a book called Megatrends uh, by John Naismith. And in this book, um, John Naismith talked about high-tech, high-touch philosophy. And his belief was, as we advance with technology, we also have to make sure we maintain that personal touch. Uh, and I think this is something that, that is going on at Carl Albert and going on at NSU. Uh, as, as we become more technologically advanced in the classroom, we have to make sure that we have that personalized human interaction. Uh, that's what's going to make a, a difference in, in students reaching their ultimate goal of getting a degree. And uh, there, there is no place better in the state, I, I, I truly believe, uh, than the faculty and the staff that we have here at Carl Albert in, in reaching out to our students saying, uh, we, we care about you, uh, you are important to us, you, you, you do matter. And it, it's that type of encouragement uh, that's going to help students persist, uh, persevere, and continue on, not only to get their associate's degree, but take that next step to getting their bachelor's degree. And there is something special about Eastern Oklahoma. As I uh, travel across the state and I, I visit other campuses and, and meet with other college students, I, I see so many students that are, are searching for something uh, that they can't seem to find. There, there seems to be a void. Uh, and that void is having that atmosphere, that environment, a family-friendly place, a, a place where they can connect with other students and they can connect with faculty and staff. And, and there are not two better institutions in the state than right here in eastern Oklahoma at Carl Albert and at Tahlequah, where we are committed to make sure that we're going to put the students first, we're going to find out uh, what your interests are, what your needs are, and find a way to make sure that you reach that ultimate goal of a degree. And uh, Carl Albert is just that ideal candidate. Uh, we, we lead the state. Uh, we have the highest retention and the highest graduation rate of any two-year school in the state. So we are that ideal candidate for producing the graduates to go on to a four-year institution. As we move into a global economy, as we move into a knowledge economy that is based upon new ideas and new information that's being created and disseminated, we have to make sure that we're a part of that, that we're a part of that ingenuity, that part of that creativity. And I know uh, this month there was a World Creative Forum in Oklahoma City where people from all over 
uh, the country uh, and all over the world came uh, to share ideas. And both Carl Albert and Northeastern State University were uh, participants in this world creative forum. And we're facing struggles where we're going to have to be creative. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of talk about uh, impending budget cuts and cuts that we're seeing in, in other states uh, and cuts that we may experience here in Oklahoma. Well, I'm optimistic about this. I, I, I'm like the death row inmate who asked for a doggy bag with his last meal. I, I believe that we're going to be able to get through this. I, I know the challenges are ahead. Uh, but what it takes is creativity and collaboration. And that's what we're doing here. Uh, we're, we're partnering with, a, with an outstanding institution and saying, how can we work together uh, to meet the needs and the goals of the people of, of this region? Education is the hope for a better tomorrow. And we're going to find a way to provide that hope, to provide that education, and to provide that student success success at college, success in your job, and success in life. Uh, that's what we're about, that's what we're working for, uh, and we're going to make sure uh, that, that the students in the next generation ha have something that they can be proud of. Education is changing the lives of students, and in return, the students are going to change this world. So we have to make sure that the Education Foundation is there for them. So I want to welcome Dr. Betts and have him say a few words. Thank you, uh, President Webb, Brandon, for uh, your eloquent comments and um, for the opportunity to join you and your colleagues here and the students of Carl Albert State College on a momentous occasion. We're really excited to be part of this uh, emerging relationship with your institution. I'd like to take a moment to introduce um, the group that's here today representing our commitment to this relationship with those representing Northeastern State University. Please stand, be recognized. There's a lot of history among this group, people who have been serving higher education needs of people of Oklahoma for many, many years and some newer members of our team, but we all share a passion. And the passion was so clearly articulated by, by President Webb. We know why we're here. We know why we do this work and we know that it's important work. And the world really understands now more than ever before that the key to success is through the pathway of education. And that education is not just getting a degree and it's not just passing a course. It's about embracing a culture of learning, a way of orienting your life where you never stop learning because you're in a, a world now in an environment that's going to demand your ability to continue to learn as the absolute sine qua non, the absolute minimum that you must do in order to succeed. You must be able to learn and learn well. So you, what we want you to become, students and all of us, is a college of one. Our goal is that you will be Carl Albert and you will be Northeastern State University and you will go on to make your own world of learning for yourself, for your family, and for your communities. Oklahoma's future, is, as President Webb has stated so clearly, is really pivoting on our ability to create the next generation of learners and doers and thinkers. And the key to our success beyond your passion, talent, and persistence is your ability to collaborate. Brandon mentioned that a moment ago. There are no victories that will be won alone. None of us will succeed in total isolation from one another. And to think of that Carl Albert is up and Northeastern is down, or OU is up and OSU is down, whatever, whatever zero-sum game you might want to think the world is about, the bottom line is if we don't do this together, it's not going to get done. And the doing is can we create a society where learning becomes paramount, where we reward that learning because that learning leads to success. And how do we keep people who are learned in this state to create new opportunities for others? So students, you are the, as we say in all of the graduation uh, statements that we make, you are literally the future. And someone figured that out a long time ago and keeps telling successive generations because as 
generations get older, they realize that the investment that they made in the students is basically their insurance policy that the future will be bright for the communities in the state and the nation that they love. And you're our insurance policy in that regard. And to that end, we believe that baccalaureate degrees, associate degrees, baccalaureate degrees, and above are important for people in Oklahoma to attain. And nationally, we do not uh, reach the national average in terms of baccalaureate degrees. This relationship, this smart choice that we're making, that we're forging here with the blue to, to green, I got the right tie on, I just noticed that, <laughs> pretty good, uh, is to ensure that there is this pathway that President Webb was mentioning, this, this pathway to opportunity and this pathway to success. It's not just about one institution. It's not just about the faculty of a particular college or a particular department. It's about what do we do in concert together that creates a new way of thinking about how we learn and provide the pathway for that learning. So around Northeastern, we say, we want to create and sustain a culture of learning. It means that our attitudes, our behaviors, the way we interact is about our recreating learning opportunities. Now, you know this. I am sure that most of you have in your pocket, purse, backpack, something that looks like a cell phone, which uh, you use for a variety of purposes. Around the world, it's now becoming the principal way to learn at a distance, mobile technology. That mobile technology is opening up new opportunities, new ways of learning, new ways of connecting. And you know from using these devices and from tapping into the internet that you never really stop learning. Now it's a question of how much can you absorb how much can you apply? And importantly, how do you connect with one another to create outcomes that you can never create alone? But we have great hate, great hope and faith in, in your abilities. That's why some of us have been in this business for all of our lives, because we really understand that the future is bright only if the students are bright, committed, persistent, as, as Brandon had mentioned. So we're here today to celebrate education to celebrate the challenges that we have before us and to look at this relationship as one that's going to create a whole set of options that weren't there before. Both Carl Albert and Northeast are committed to access. We are public institutions. We are designed purposefully for people to be able to seek their destiny in their local areas. It doesn't mean that you won't go on and go all over the world and come home. We want you to do that. We want you to become as bright and as understanding and as sharp as you can possibly be. We want you to get as many degrees as you can get as much experience. And then we want you to bring that experience, those de that degree and those attainments back here and to create the kind of home, the kind of county, the kind of region, and the kind of state that you want for your future and your children. I agree with Brandon. There is something unique about Eastern Oklahoma. Both of our institutions have played historic roles in making sure that that uniqueness is not lost. And people that know this region or from this region or who come to this region from other parts of the country, they understand that it is a special place. But it can only remain special if it has people. And those people will stay if there are jobs and opportunities. And that's up to us and that's up to you. So this smart choice is designed as a way for us to create the future we all want the future that will bring our children and grandchildren uh, new opportunities and new ways of embracing what they can mean and what they can do in the region. And I couldn't be happier today to be putting this pen to this paper and forging this relationship. This is the way we should do business. This is the way we should be pursuing education. It's not about the I or the me, it's really about the we. And this is one of the great relationships and I predict wonderful opportunities for students, for our faculty and staff, and for the state of Oklahoma. And with that, I thank President Webb, and I thank the good people of Carl Albert State College for inviting us for this moment. And as they say, perhaps, let's get on with it. Okay.